Aha, dinky do my heart is. And a very, very good Friday evening to you. Scotty McClue with you, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live, the one everyone's talking about and the one everyone is watching. Lovely, lovely, lovely to have you with us. Of course, excellent stuff. Just a bit of a, bit of a bright light there. That's better. How's that? Can you see me all there? Are you okay with that one? Excellent. First class. Right, I'll see if I can put a bit of... A bit of light on, uh, and we'll see what we can do. There we go. Excellent. That's too, that's too much, you see. Too much. Wait till we see what else we've got for you. Too much there. How's that? Is that okay? Am I sitting in the dark as we speak if we do that? Is that too much? How's that? Is that even better? Or is that too much as well? <laughs> Excellent stuff. Right, you've got to get the lighting right, haven't you? Uh, shouldn't be a difficulty. A very, very good Friday evening to you. Lovely to have you with me. Scotty McClure, of course, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. That's me. Everybody knows me. Looking forward to uh, hearing you on the radio tonight, Scotty. Yes, that's part of the purpose of tonight's little Friday night pop-up. I will be on the radio tonight, so do feel free to come and join me. I'm just checking what's best light wise here, trying to get you some decent lighting. Um, hi, Scotty. Despite the vertigo, I bought a walker today. I have my movement back at least outside, says Ali Yogi. Good for you, Ali. Excellent stuff. That's good news. Hi, Scotty. How are you doing? Says Elizabeth Gibbons. Very well, Elizabeth. Just a quick Friday night pop up to uh, get everybody uh, aware that I'm on the radio tonight at 10 o'clock sharp and that you should all come and join me then. First class idea, I see. Okay, the news, Scotty. No problem at all. Is that better if I sit back? There we are. Are you getting too much light? Tell me about the lighting, um, because I'm not sure what you're seeing. Craig Fitzpatrick, are you a Tim? I think what we'll do with you, Craig, is just give you a bit of a ban, because that's the kind of, we don't really want that kind of nonsense on here. So what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll block you. There we are. Right, you'll never, ever hear from Craig again. He's gone, because uh, we're not having that kind of nonsense on here I assure you, and uh, Tim would like to sincerely apologize for coming out with that. Uh, no lighting's perfect without the spotlight on, says Amanda Chair. Amanda Chair, you're not just woo fabulous stuff. No lighting's perfect without the spotlight. How is it if I'm back a bit? Does that help, or uh, does that just give you too much of that weight? I'll tell you what might help a wee bit. A wee tilt there. There we go. Okay, the news, Scotty, says Alan McGee. Dinky do, Alan. Lovely to hear from you. Martin Rose watching. Welcome, Martin. Lovely to have you with us, I see. There we go. I'm just going to see if I can get you, get you my best sides. <laughs> Fantastic. JP McCarran, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Gordon Sterling, dinky do. Welcome, I see. Lovely to have you with us. Abdullah Muhammad Issa, hello. Hello, Abdullah Muhammad Issa. Lovely to have you with us as well. Joe Bach, lovely to have you with us as well. The lights are a nightmare, says Gordon. I think it's all to do with what I'm wearing, Gordon. Do you know what I mean? I don't think you should be in charge of my wardrobe from now on. I think we'll maybe change that. Is that better? Shall we do without the lights? How does that look? Overexposed. I beg your pardon, sir. You speak for yourself. Um, it's too bright, Scotty, says Elizabeth. What about that, Elizabeth? Does that look better? Or am I too much in the dark there? That's what I'd like to hear from you. Loved watching your old continuity announcements on STV. Was watching on YouTube, says Tony Mac. Thank you too, Tony. I thought you'd probably enjoy that. How's that for lighting, guys? Can you see me there? Okay. Hi, Scotty. How are you tonight? says Brian Keswick. Fantastic, Brian, and a dinky do to you as well. Lovely to have you with us. So there we go. Sorry, I meant the lighting. Yes. Is it fine now? Is that better? There we are. I've got a bit of a shadow down the front of my chest, but I might manage to remove that. You'll just bear with me, guys. I'll do a little bit of experimentation, and you've got to tell me uh, if it's better or if it's not so good. There we are. No. 
No, that's a bit scary, isn't it? The, the touch of the Halloween's about that. <laughs> well, maybe not. Just go there. There we are. Mark Cruden's watching the wonderful Mark Cruden. Dinky do, Mark. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. We're just doing a little bit of technical work with the lighting. But you're very welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Big improvement. Yep. Uh, Brian Kessick, the lighting's a bit much. How is it now? Is it okay now? Is everything dinky do now? I'll tell you what I might do. Um, good afternoon, brothers. This is Mark Cruden and you, Mark. Lovely to have you with us. There we are. Um, my brother there, Matty Fife. Stephen McFarlane. Lovely to have you with us. Hello. So Stephen McFarlane. Hello. Brilliant, says Elizabeth Gibbons. Sorry, I meant the lighting's perfect without the spotlight on. I just used bad grammar. And as you know, Amanda J, we are grammarians on here. And we do not use bad grammar. There's quite a lot of lighting on my bonnet, though. I'm just wondering if I put off some of the spots. It's fine now, Scotty. Yeah, but do you notice the lighting's, the, um, lighting's hitting the bonnet? And it doesn't look so good that way. God is still in. Big improvement on the lights now. Thank you. We might be doing something else, so hold on. Now, this might plunge us into darkness, but stay where you are. Uh, do nothing till you hear from me. Right. How's that? Now, there's no lighting at all. Is that too dark? Do let me know. Uh, big improvement in the lights, Michael Pivrel. Brilliant. Fine now, Scotty. Tell me about that, guys. How is that? What you're seeing right now is it just too dark. They are get a better look at the bonnet, of course. Mark Tennant's watching. Brilliant. Fine now, Scotty. Uh, have you got lipstick on? No, no, no. I don't wear the lipstick, Mark. You know me. Straight talking, you know. A good firm handshake. That's me. Uh, under cuddle. Uh, Stephen Mooney. Dinky do. Derek Jimmy Walker. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, lighting looks good now. Uh, so says Tony Mac. Excellent. Is that okay, Tony? And we're not sitting in the dark a wee bit. So there you are. But at least you can get the bonnet picked out, as they say. I think of probably, courtesy of all you wonderful guys who gave me your fivers and your tenors and your twenties and your fifties, you know, we've been able to get much, much better equipment. And I think the camera is just so good that it's light sensitive itself. You could probably broadcast in the dark if we're honest but we'll try some more lighting later but is that okay for you guys uh can i ask what happened to we fat bob from scott fm i'm absolutely clueless about that stephen mcfarlane i could not tell you i have not seen hide nor hear of him so they ask i don't know what happened to him so people do ask me occasionally uh sorry scotty i forgot about your show on the radio last week but i'll be sure to be listening tonight and tomorrow and sunday night dinky do says charlie andrews now guys that's what i popped up to tell you i'm live on the radio tonight on 96.3 fm covering a good whack of central scotland and I want to hear from you. I've got a telephone number. It's Scotty McClure's Nightline. So it should be solid chat and perhaps a little bit of chosen music popped in. All right, big man, says Tony Conway. Excellent, Tony. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Do. Hello, Scotty. Are you at work at 9 p.m.? Not 9 p.m. tonight, 10 p.m., Derek Jimmy Walker. So here's how the Scotty McClure is going to shape up for you on the different platforms. Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Is everybody listening now? Because this is important. 10 o'clock sharp on Nation Radio. 96.3 on the FM for Central Scotland. If you're out with the area, you'll get it on www.nationradio.scot. Get yourselves on there, okay? Very, very important. And tonight we're going to be talking about all sorts of things. Nation Radio is very, very, very popular across Central Scotland. Very popular in Falkirk and very popular in Stirling. So there you are, very big, of course, huge in Glasgow and the surrounding areas as well. So there you are. So you get yourselves on Nation Radio. It's on now. If you're watching and you're in central Scotland, put it on now, 96.3. The music is quite outstanding. The presenters are fantastic. 
So there you are. It's the new big radio station for Scotland because, as you know, for about the last 20 years, maybe the last 24 years, Scotland's radio has been kind of sleepy a wee bit. A wee bit having a wee nap. You know, Snow White, all that stuff. The princess. <laughs> Excellent. Beauty and the Beast, any of these things, you know, a wee bit of a sleep. So there you are. How's life, Scotty? Ha ha! Says Amanda J. Am I bad? No, you're not bad, my dear. Hello, Scotty. Uh, on tonight, yes, Derek, we've got that. How's life, Scotty? Says Logan Knox. Dinky do, Logan. Excellent. Lovely to hear from you. That's better, says Raymond Benson. What have you done, Raymond? Is it something personal? Or do you mean the lighting's better? Um, that's a big improvement, Scotty. What, because I'm sitting in the dark? So there you are. Is it okay? Is it honestly clear? Tell me, you know, front up and tell me. Uh, thanks for your advice. Who's giving me that? Thomas Ford says, better, yes, perfect, says Mark Cruden. You're perfect, Mark Cruden. I'll tell you that for nothing. Good one, says David Booker. Sid Devise watching, Gordon Sterling. No, light's perfect. Have you been buying dental implants? Yeah, yeah, these are all second hand, so the <laughs> off the internet. <laughs> Pop them in yourself. Don't try that at home now, folks. That was for entertainment purposes only. Agnes loves your implants. So there you are. I think you're the master of the implant, Gordon Sterling. From what I hear, Haggis Supper, Scotty. Jerry McGurk, dinky do. Uh, Haggis Supper on a Friday night. Uh, I moved to Newcastle, so I'll not be able to tune into your show. It says Elizabeth Gibbons. Elizabeth Gibbons, of course you'll be able to tune into my show. You just get either your phone, you download the Radio Player app, and you put in Nation Radio 96.3 Scotland, Scotland Gate, up it pops, you've got it on your phone. Clear as a bell as if you're standing in the studio. So of course you can listen to the show, Elizabeth Gibbons. Excellent. Somebody will get that for you. Or go on to the internet, www.nationradio.scot and just click listen live. So there you are. There's nothing to stop you listening in the UK. Uh, listen online, says Gordon Sterling, replying to Elizabeth Gibbons. Thank you, Gordon. Appreciate it. Your assistance is always appreciated. Johnny Garvey. Hi, Scotty. How's things, mate? John here with the dog. Yes, I did remember that night when I told you I could hear your dog under the table. Doing well for myself. All is well with you, too. It is Johnny Garvey. And lovely to hear from you. Dinky do. John Garvey. Tremendous man. And... Um, John's blind and he's got uh, he's got a dog. Isn't that right? John with the dog. Um pancakes tonight, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Fantastic pancakes down in Rochester in Kent. Elizabeth Gibbons, you can get it online, Nation Radio Scotland website, says Gary. Gary Dinky do lovely to have you with us, of course. Quick Friday evening pop-up from me, Scotty McClue, just to let you know what's happening from now on. Now, you'll be wondering if I've given you all up on a Sunday night. No chance. So there you are. So, sorry, that celebration for you is off. We will be on on Sunday nights at 9 o'clock sharp here on Facebook Live. But I will need to nip at some point and do the radio show. So I'll probably have to push off a bit earlier. But that's not the end of the world, as you well know. Do you want some more lighting? Is that any good? That's too bright, isn't it? It's, too, it's just too bright. Leave it alone, Scotty. So there you are. Uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Thanks for your advice about Mrs. Max Beck. Uh, she's, uh, she's feeling a bit better. Good, Tony. Yes, that's a winner, that. Yes, we know how to look after people. Uh, got it, thanks. Excellent. Uh, what have you gotten for tea tonight? Oh, Derek, Jimmy Walker. I think we're at the scrambled egg on toast tonight. Mm, there you are. Don't you try that at home now. Yes, the lighting's of Raymond Benson. Thank you, Raymond. Appreciate you, Rab Hill. Hello, Scotty, big man. How are you? We're fine, Rab. Hope you've been listening on the radio tonight. Give us a call, of course. 141811 Get that number down with a stub of a hard black pencil. Scotty, you're a legend. You need to become Scotland's first minister. You're wasted doing what you're doing. Dinky do. God and quit. I am never wasted 
doing what I am doing. So there you go. Excellent stuff. I am, in a way, leading the public in information, education, and entertainment live on the wireless nation radio. Tremendous stuff. Uh, got it. Thanks, Elizabeth. There you are, Elizabeth, you see. Uh, hey, I'm in Spain. Uh, Fuengarola, Malaga. Coming through loud and clear. I never tire from hearing from you, as we did at the mighty QFM, says the wonderful Andrew Stone. Absolutely right, Andrew. Top man. So you're in Malaga. Wonderful. James Fitton and uh, George Beattie's watching. Tremendous. Harry Nollis. So there were Harry Nollis. What we'll have to do, I think we'll ban you. So there we go. Yeah, we'll have to ban Harry. Well, no, I'll tell you what I'll do, Harry. I'll do a deal with you. I'll delete that comment, right? If you sort of grow up and stop being silly. How's that for a deal? So Harry Nollis, I haven't banned you. I've deleted your comment. But any repeat of it, it will be a lifetime ban. Is that okay for a deal? Yep, good man. Excellent stuff. Come back and tell me. How's life, Scotty? It's the Stephen Gra. Terrific, Steve. Lovely to have you with us. You need to be Scotland's Minister for Radio and Broadcasting. You know, this was mooted. If Scotland had uh, gone independent in 2014, there was a lot of talk of my good self running the broadcasting side. There you are. Amazing. Fantastic stuff. Tony Richardson, Ian McManus, Wendy likes your bonnet. I like my bonnet. So there you are. Uh, sorry, Scotty, I behave, says Harry. Good for you, Harry. Absolutely. That's a silly thing to do. And someday I'll explain it to you. Uh, D. Gourley, excellent stuff. Dinky doo D. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you for all your support. Did some of you catch the watch party yesterday? Tell me honestly, if you managed to see it, and honestly, what did you think of it as an idea? Is it helpful for you guys? I know, D, you caught the watch party yesterday. This is a lovely new thing that Facebook have brought in. And uh, we're talking about um, having the watch party. So there you are. See what you think. I did a couple of watch parties yesterday just to see what people thought about it. Alan, check this out, says Charlie Andrews. Quite right, yes. Hi, Scotty, says D. Hi, D. Lovely to have you on. Thank you very much, as I say, for all your support. Thank you to every single one of you watching live here on Facebook Live for all your tremendous support. It's brilliant. I'm delighted with Nation Radio because it is Scotland's finest radio station. It's brand new, of course, so... We'll have to prove ourselves, not a problem. Yes, I think it's a great idea, says D. Gurley. Did you like it? The watch party. We load up a few videos. Bab says hello, says Harry Knowles. Harry, no problem at all. You and I are sorted. Good man. Excellent. I knew that you were a sensible one. So there you are. But it's a very strange thing to put. I think you'll agree. So there you are. Bab says hello. And hello to Babs, Harry. Dinky do. If you've just joined us, a warm welcome. Hope to tune in later, says Tony Richardson. Yes, everybody, if you have just joined us, Scotty McClue is on Nation Radio. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 10 o'clock sharp. 96.3 on the FM, or you'll get it anywhere in the UK on www.nationradio.scot, or you'll get it anywhere in the UK if you download the Radio Player app and put in, are you listening, Nation Radio 96.3 Scotland. All right, put that in. I'll definitely be listening tonight, says VJ, dinky do VJ, First Minister, would suit you, sir. As long as you don't start dancing on stage to ABBA. So there we are, Andrew Stone. Well, it could have been worse. She could have come on to tragedy. There you are. Hello, you legend, says John Cameron. Hello, John Cameron, you legend. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, if you've all just joined us, folks, a warm, warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, with a quick Friday evening pop-up. Just for you. Excellent stuff. Hello, how are you, Scotty McClure? Says Robert Peck. Excellent, Robert. You've got a wee miss there. You've popped an R in. It's McClure. M small c, capital C, L U E, as in clue. So there you are. Oi, oi, sir. Says Ian Bark. Oi, oi, Ian Bark. 
Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. And dinky do to all of you. Welcome, 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 I say, to a quick Friday evening pop-up, just so that we can compare notes. And I want every single one of you to join me tonight at 10 o'clock sharp, 96.3. Amanda Jean Dorcott. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Amanda Jean. How are you? Nice to see you. Did I see you yesterday on the watch party? So there you are. We're hosting a watch party. So good idea. So I'm just letting you know, keep a look out for that. The only thing is, some of you might have missed it because it has to be hosted on a group. And it's on the Scotty McClue fan group. Tony Mac, I've started my diet. Do you think that people think overweight people are slow and not so clever? No, I don't think they do, Tony, and I'm glad you've started your diet. It'll make a huge difference to your life. So there you are. And I understand, I mean, I'm not exactly, uh, you know, a four-minute miler. I have to add that, or a three-and-a-half-minute miler. Uh, so I do understand um, that it's quite difficult to control the old weight, but uh, you will get sorted, no problem at all. You're better than a fish supper, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Did you Google how to dab, Scotty? I don't need to Google how to dab, John Cameron. I, I can dab. I am a dabber. There we go. Hit the dab. Dab in the haters, I say. Oi, oi, Scotty Dinky Do. I might have to miss your gig tonight as I'm out raving, sir. Scott B. Day. Right? Uh, catch us tomorrow night. You can't be raving for three nights. Catch us Sunday night. All right? That is an order. That goes for all of you. This is not a request, guys. This is an order. Scotty McClue, 10 o'clock sharp on the radio just for you, saying dinky-doo. Hello, Scotty. Uh, we bucket for called Scythe here. You're a class act. So are you, we bucket. Dinky-doo. Hello, Scotty. Can I get a hello from Peter Heed? In Scotland, says Damien Kearney. Damien Kearney, aye. Hello to Peter Reid. And hello to the Broch. And a very good evening to Aberdeen in the northeast. We'll be getting a few rows for our breakfast after we've heard Scotty McClue on the wireless. So there you go. So a big shout out for Peter Reid. A big shout out for the Broch. And for Bucky, and for Bamf, and for Elgin, and Lossy, and Rech doing the coast. So there you are. Aberdeen itself, of course. Uh, hi, Scotty, making the rolls for the morning. Wonderful stuff. Christopher Love is watching Dinky Doo. Paul Francis Carroll, one of our finest organists, is watching Dinky Doo. Paul Francis Carroll, lovely to have you with us, I say. So I hope you'll all be joining me tonight at 10 o'clock sharp, never, ever, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue, or you miss a moment of life. That's where it's all going on. And as I say, we're very big across central Scotland. I heard today, woo, Elgin, says Gina Ann Goodbrand. Yes, hello to Elgin. What a lovely part of the world. And, um, you know, who's singing caused the cathedral roof to collapse, though, in the 1600s? Easter Sunday, I think it was. In the 1600s, the roof came in in the cathedral. <sighs> Can you imagine it? Right in the middle of the service. What a strike. That would have weakened everybody up. Uh, you're nearly fam more famous than Ur Wally, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Well, I have said to you before, the big brands in Scotland were uh, Bars Iron Brew, Tunnox Carmel Wavers, um, Radio Clyde and Scotty McClure. So there you are. So Bars Iron Brew, Tunnox Carmel Wavers, Scotty McClure, and Nation Radio, that's where we're heading. From Scarborough, says Michael Putley. Hello, we love Scarborough, Michael. And we send you joy, love, and laughter to everybody in Scarborough. Isn't it brilliant to pop up on a Friday night, with a quick Friday night pop-up, and we get people from all over the world coming and joining us. We'll be big man, says Barry. Good for you, Barry. Much appreciated. Out in the kill scythe there. And uh, John Finlay, yes, wonderful. Kilsyth, Tom Johnston House. There you go. Do you play the bagpipes, says Robert Peck? No, I don't actually play. Uh, I'm pretty rusty on the chanter. My father was a great piper. My grandfather was a great piper. But I can diddly dumb you a tune. If you want a tune, I'll diddly dumb you it. After the wolf bunt it down. 
So there you are, it says Gin and Good Brand. Ah, Gin Ann, lovely to have you with us. Yes, the wolf, did the wolf burn down Elgin Cathedral? Wow. There you are, very interesting, Gin Ann. I shall be checking that up. You are a source of very interesting information. So there we are. I will have a look at that. So there we are. So if I got you, say, a 2-4 pipe march, far over straight, <clears throat> I'll diddly dumb you. Are you ready? there you are there's a bit of bagpiping now all the pipers watching will know that that was pretty exceptional work am i right or am i right guys come on grandpa brun for the first minister of scotland they have the Bruins. Nice to see the bonnet back on, Scotty. Is this Tony Conroy? Absolutely. The bonnet is back on the wireless. The symbol of authority in the media. The bonnet. So there you are. A major, a major, says Paul Francis Carroll. Yes, Paul Francis Carroll. Very good for you. A major. Excellent. How, how, pa, hello, pal. How's your day? Says Thomas Hamilton. Very good, Thomas. Thank you very much for asking. Thank you for inspiring me in radio. I love it. Looking forward to tonight, says Tony Mac. You get on with your radio work, Tony Mac. Excellent stuff. I'm going to do a wee bit of sharing of this, guys. Has anybody else done any sharing? Let me just check what's going on here. Can, uh, can we all share this broadcast? Can you all do a bit of sharing, please? Very, very important. Get yourselves onto Facebook there and just share. Uh, that's excellent stuff. Yes, it was an A major. Paul Francis Carroll, good for you. A very good key for a lot of pipe tunes. So there we are. Up to the high and low A. Wonderful. I always say, if you can give me a B when I'm starting to sing, uh, I'll give me a B flat. Or give me a B and I'll, I'll flatten it myself, you know. Uh, not a problem. There we are. Right, I'm on to it. Are you all on to it? This is excellent stuff. Fantastic. Now, uh, just to let you know if you've just joined us, 10 o'clock sharp tonight, George Barnes says, Hello, Scotty. Hello, George. Lovely to have you with us. Just doing a wee bit of sharing here, George. Excellent stuff. Oh, right, so there we are. Gosh, that's bright. That is very bright. I'll just turn the volume down because you're not wanting to hear me again. <laughs> Wonderful. There we are. So I've done that. And uh, we're sharing, 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 sharing. I'm going to share to a group. Uh, wonderful stuff, share to group. So I'll share to the Scotty McClue group. If you can all do the same. John Houston's watching. Come and join us. Hello, John Houston. Dinky do. Uh, I'll just put live now, guys. I think that's your best bet, isn't it? Live now. And it just lets everybody know. They're going, oh, Scotty, my clue's on. Hadn't he realised? I wish I'd known. Oh, brilliant. All that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So there we are. Right, there's a bit of sharing going on there, so that should be all right. And uh, who else have we got? Who can I share to here? Um, what I'll do is I'll write post. Right, Post, we like that. And then we can pop it on to one of the Scotty McClure pages. Ni hao, says George Barnes. A little bit of man from there. Han hao, George Barnes. Wonderful stuff. Just talking a bit of Mandarin for you folks. We provide a service on here. There we are. Excellent. That just lets everybody know what is what. God and Elric's just joined us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just arrived home, you think, what's going on in my Facebook? You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Just to let you all know, I'll be popping up on Nation Radio tonight. 96.3 on the FM. Never, ever miss it. If you can't get it on that, you'll get it on www.nationradio.scot. And if you want to have it on your phone permanently, download the app called Radio Player. 
Just put that into the App Store radio player and put in Nation Radio 96.3 Scotland. So don't give me any other, so I can't get it and well, I don't know what's happening here, you know, and all the rest of it. Uh, too much of the feckless, I always say. Um, love the Cap Scottish, says Margaret Mary Barclay. It's one of my favourites, Margaret Mary Barclay. Got it? I think that one came from, uh, I think that one came from Ilkley in Yorkshire one Saturday afternoon uh, as a lovely proper gentleman's outfitter in the town. And I bought that in Ilkley because if you go, I was going on Ilkley Moor, which rises up above the town, as all you Ilkleans will know. And um, I thought to myself, you can't go on Ilkley Moor Bat Hat because Bat Hat is just Yorkshire where for without your hat. And you go, oh, no, no, bad hat, you see? So you wouldn't do that. So there we are, Margaret Mary Barclay. There's a wee bit of history of Scotty McClue's bunnet for you. It's actually a Yorkshire bunnet. Of course, I've lived in Yorkshire for a good part of my life. I walked down there on super radio stations, Hallam FM, Magic, all these wonderful radio stations. Other radio stations will be struggling to compete with you over the weekend on the radio. You're the man of the airwaves, Tony Mack. The last time we wiped out the 20-year broadcasting history of other radio stations on Scott FM. In two years, we had the same figures as they had in 20 years. Isn't that amazing? So there you go. And um, I would think that's probably one of the reasons that Scotty McClure was made to disappear off your airwaves. So there you are. Uh, other radio stations struggling. We can't help them out. They had their chance. I was in touch with them before Nation Radio. I was in touch with them. So they had their chance. So nobody can pull a long face or have a gripe or anything about that, about Scotty McClure having the market in Scotland. Nothing wrong with that. Whoever has McClure has the market. It's a well-known fact. Hey, Amanda J., which countries in the world have you travelled to, Scotty? Which is your favourite? Except Scotland, of course. Amanda J., believe it or not, um, I'm not really uh, a well-travelled out with the UK. Very, 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 very well travelled within the UK. But out with the UK, I've been to Austria, Germany, Holland, France, um, Crete, Greece, all that sort of stuff. I've been to Portugal. Um, but apart from that, I'm not terribly well travelled. I would quite like to go to Australia, to New Zealand, to Africa, India, um, all that sort of stuff. America, South America. I mean, you know, my life could have been different. If I was broadcasting in America with my audience figures, you know, I would have been a very, very, very wealthy man. But I choose to stay in the UK and take my chances. So there you are. That's that's the kind of man you're talking to. Evening, Scotty. So there you are. Evening, Andy Hughes. Dinky doo and a very warm welcome. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure. We're live on the big one, Facebook Live. And in about, let me tell you exactly, yes, in four hours' time, I will be live on the radio saying dinky doo to every single one of you. Nation Radio, 96.3 on the FM, www.nationradio.scot, and come and phone us up, 0141 0475. And there's no reason why I shouldn't hear from every single one of you. Right? Don't give it a thought. Just pick up the phone, ring Scotty McClure and have a chat. Uh, I need to go and attend to Mrs. Mack with her bad back. Oh, you're a poet and you didn't know it. Looking forward to you being in the radio tonight. Much love, Scotty. Lots of love to you, Tony Mack. Take great care of yourself. Love to Mrs. Mack and Dinky Doo. Uh, good man, says Amanda J. Yeah, well, that's kind of how it's worked out. But I think I'm kind of secure in the knowledge that this is one life and there will be many others. You know what I mean? And how you've behaved in this life will dictate 
what happens in the others. I've only met one bad man in my whole life. And I was telling somebody this, and they said, well, you're very lucky. It was a guy that took money off us. And they said, well, you're very lucky because there's a few of them about. I don't see them. So there you are. So excellent stuff. One bad man. Can you shove your granny off a bus? That was the song. We might get back to that yet when people phone in to the radio station to sing the song. My daughter now stays in New Zealand, and you need a lot of wind to get there, sir, says Scott Beattie. Yes, but there'll be ways crowdfund it. Look at that. I mean, Scotty McClure, uh, you know, managed to get little bits of money in from all you beautiful people to get equipment so we could improve the show. I'm still saving up for lighting. If anybody's feeling a bit flush, GoFundMe.com. I can just imagine Scotty V. Howard Stern. That would be tasty, says Frank McCallum. Yes, well, we could have a, a good few laughs. So there you are, wonderful stuff. Now, Scotty, you never have a song, says George Barnes. Do you remember the song? You can't shove your granny off a bus. Fantastic. People used to phone up to sing it. Wonderful. You can't shove, not soft. Oi, Scott Beattie, you're going to see JPS tonight, says Andy Hughes. Sorry to hear that. One bad man is one too many. Yeah, just one bad man I say, who let me down. I trusted him and he betrayed that trust. It was shocking. Shocking. But there we are. There you are. But one, you know what I mean? There we are. And um, I suppose it happens if you stride the world like some great colossus. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, guys, uh, it's probably time I wasn't here because you'll all want to get on with your supper. You want to get the tea on and things like that. And uh, we'll finish on a good note, Amanda J. And the good note is tonight, 10 o'clock sharp, on the wireless, 96.3 on the FM, or www.nationradio.scot, or download your radio player, put in Nation Radio 96.3 FM, Scotland. It needs the lot. So don't go, oh, I can't get it. I've got Nation London and Nation Wales. How do I get Nation Scotland? Because you need to put in Nation Radio 96.3, Scotland. All right, Scotty, says George Barnes. Dinky do, George. All the very, very best. I'm sitting eating a big Chinese meal, says Andy Hughes. Yes, and they've only given you one chopstick. Good luck with that, I say. Looking forward to it, says Amanda. Me too, Amanda. I'll push off and uh, have my tea. George Barnes has got Nation Radio on now. You get it on your phones, guys. That's the big thing to do. Yes, if you've got good unlimited data or lots and lots of data, get yourself on to Radio Player. Uh, download the app and uh, put in Nation Radio Scotland 96.3 and uh, your, your life will just change. The music is outstanding. The presenter's fantastic. There's a holiday to Dubai to be won. Derek McIntyre, the breakfast presenter, is off to Dubai. And, um, you know, we'll see how all that goes. But Nation Radio is taking Scotland by storm. So there you are. They love it in Glasgow. They love it throughout the West Central Belt. They love it in Falkirk. They love it in Stirling. So there you are. It's the big thing. They are fantastic. James Starks watching Dinky Doo. James, lovely to hear from you. This is Scotty McClure saying Dinky Doo to every single one of you. Share this broadcast, guys, and I'll see you all at 10 o'clock sharp. Until then, Dinky Doo.